Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you may be. Uh, CC here, Chris, from New York, uh, Westchester County. It's November 22nd, 2019. Uh, I don't really acknowledge these anniversaries, but uh, yeah, today is JFK's uh, assassination. I don't really want to get into it, but, you know, the conspiracies and all that shit. Who cares? I, I really, frankly, don't really even want to discuss it. But I was looking for numbers. You know, what time he got shot. You know, what time of day it was. And it was 2 o'clock, actually, here in, uh, in the afternoon on the East Coast. Um... So I, mean, I couldn't find any significant, real, you know, satanic numbers like you could always find. But then I was like, wait a minute, it's November 22nd, 1-1, <laughs> one, one. there you go. All right, just something to think about, guys. All right, a couple things I want to just discuss with you real quick that I noticed. Um, this is where Walt Disney has pretty much crossed the line. Uh, I, you know... We ran out of bread, so my significant other went out and got a loaf of bread. Uh, and on the counter, there it was, staring me straight in the face. A Walt Disney ad for Frozen 2 on a package of whole wheat bread. Now, why is that there? You know, I mean, why is that there? Your, your child sees that advertisement on, on the bread that you eat, that's your favorite bread. And she puts two and two together, and, and she's like, oh, you know, Frozen 2 must be really neat. we got to go see that. What an what amazing advertisement, advertisement gimmick. If I've ever seen... I, I only imagine how much they paid for that. To indoctrinate your fucking children even more. I must have seen Frozen 1 about 20,000 times because, uh, you know, my daughter loved it, so she had to see it. Now Frozen 2's out. She's not too much into it, but she still has to go see it. And that's the problem with these sequels. You, you know what I mean? You know, like, the, you see number one, but now you got to go see number two. Oh, then three's coming, four's coming, five's coming, and now let's watch the Terminator. Uh, what, what, what are you up to now? Six? <laughs> and it, and it's, it, it's like 40 years later. All right? Hollywood doesn't know what the hell to do anymore. They really don't. Their movies are getting worse and worse. Their graphics are getting better. Technology is getting much better. They're getting a lot better with the CGI, but it still sucks. They don't know what to do. There's only a few really good movies out there, and they're classics. And all they do is they just copy them over and over and over again. Because Hollywood is nothing but a sellout. And that's all Hollywood is. Sellouts. That's all they are. They sold their soul. And they will go to hell if there is a hell. And they will pay. They'll pay. I trust me. Don't be jealous that you're sitting in a $25 million mansion. They will pay. Because they sold themselves out and they've indoctrinated our children. Just as Hollywood is. And my suggestion to you is you don't even let your children fucking watch anything. To begin with anyway. Because it's all satanic shit. Anyway, Hollywood's crossed the line as far as I'm concerned. They really have. I, I mean, I, it, it really annoys me that now that ad is going to be on my loaf of bread as long as I have it. You know, I'm tempted to just get a bread box now and throw out that bag. Of course, we can't afford the space in our kitchen. See, that's the problem. They they give us these. They the only thing people can afford to buy is what their money has a limit on. You know, and and they keep us trapped in these little houses in the, in the middle of nowhere or, or wherever you, you, you move to and, and these little boxes that you could just barely fit half your belongings in you know it's it's a shameful world we live in and, and the creator I don't I don't I don't even know if the creator knows what's going on down here you know and, and I, I was talking to uh, I was talking to so he comments on my uh, videos um, as you wish yesterday, and I was, uh, you know, I, I, I was getting into it with him about, you know, the creator, and, and why would somebody want the responsibility of billions of souls? I, I just don't understand it. You know what I mean? You know what I'm getting at? You know, the creator is responsible for all of us. 
And I, I just don't understand the significant experiment of why we're we're here and, and why what we're doing. You know what we should. Be, well, I know what we should be doing. Exactly what we're not. <laughs> what we are doing right now, we shouldn't be doing. Uh, is this slave world that we live in? But I don't know. I don't know. Everybody says Jesus is coming. You know, and that could very well may be true. But uh, meanwhile, you've got to live your life and <laughs> you've got to deal with what's going on around us. I, I don't know. I don't even know how I got into this shit. I really don't. But anyway, um, we were talking about that and I had to go because I was waiting for some Chinese food, but you know, it's just amazing to think about, you know, maybe I don't know, maybe this we're, we're, we're souls, obviously you know, and, and when we die, if that's what you want to call it, we leave this body and, and we go somewhere. So maybe that's how the creator justifies himself because you don't really die no matter what happens. But you're judged. And you're judged at the end. So do this right. And don't fight amongst yourselves. There's more to life than that especially spreading the truth of flat earth. You will be rewarded, I promise you. Get out to as many people as you can. I don't care. As many people as you can. Especially these trained rats that are spend thousands of dollars to dude up their car to, to, to look like something out of Star Wars. You know, you know I mean, what a waste of money. Well, they also have to make up for something else, too. And I think girls, you know what I mean. Anyway, back to what I was discussing, which I don't even know. Today's Friday, and uh, I like to uh, give you something to think about if the other stuff didn't make you think. Um, you know, I, I really am curious about the sun, you know, and, and, and how it's able to project itself underneath the clouds. Because, I mean, it's, it's going away. You do know that, you know. It's not setting. It's, it's, not, it's actually going away from you, okay, and you, you can see this when you go down to the beach, but yet you see these beautiful pictures, you know, of this big round ball going right underneath the horizon on the ocean, well, that's a spectacular view, but I don't, I don't see that, I'm sorry, I see something else, but that is the only way it could actually happen with the clouds, you know, with, with a projection going away from you, it would make sense how it could go underneath the clouds. Uh, if anybody else has any other ideas, you know, feel free to leave it on the comments. I try to get through to a lot of them. Sorry if I miss you for a couple of days, but I usually end up finding you in a couple of days. I leave something for you. Um, anyway, have a good weekend. I'll leave something for the for the weekend and uh, see how, how it goes. All right. Thank you for stopping. Thank you for uh, viewing my videos. Let me be a part of your life.